The Lockheed Corporation was an American aerospace company. Lockheed was founded in 1926 and later merged with Martin Marietta to form Lockheed Martin in 1995. The founder, Alan Lockheed, had earlier founded the similarly named but otherwise unrelated Luffhead Aircraft Manufacturing Company, which was operational from 1912 through 1920. Topic: History. Topic: Origins. Alan Luffhead and his brother Malcolm Luffhead had operated an earlier aircraft company, Luffhead Aircraft Manufacturing Company, which was operational from 1912 to 1920. The company built and operated aircraft for paying passengers on sightseeing tours in California and had developed a prototype for the civil market, but folded in 1920 due to the flood of surplus aircraft deflating the market after World War I. Allen went into the real estate market while Malcolm had meanwhile formed a successful company marketing brake systems for automobiles. In 1926, Allen Lockheed, John Northrop, Kenneth Kay and Fred Keeler secured funding to form the Lockheed Aircraft Company in Hollywood the spelling was changed phonetically to prevent mispronunciation. This new company utilized some of the same technology originally developed for the Model S1 to design the Vega model. In March 1928, the company relocated to Burbank, California, and by year's end reported sales exceeding $1 million. From 1926 to 1928 the company produced over 80 aircraft and employed more than 300 workers who by April 1929 were building five aircraft per week. In July 1929, majority shareholder Fred Keeler sold 87% of the Lockheed Aircraft Company to Detroit Aircraft Corporation. In August 1929, Alan Luffhead resigned, the Great Depression ruined the aircraft market, and Detroit Aircraft went bankrupt. A group of investors headed by brothers Robert and Cortland Gross, and Walter Varney, bought the company out of receivership in 1932. The syndicate bought the company for a mere $40,000 $660,000 in 2011. Ironically, Alan Luffhead himself had planned to bid for his own company, but had raised only $50,000, $824,000, which he felt was too small a sum for a serious bid. In 1934, Robert E. Gross was named chairman of the new company, the Lockheed Aircraft Corporation, which was headquartered at what is now the airport in Burbank, California. His brother Cortland S. Gross was a co-founder and executive, succeeding Robert as chairman following his death in 1961. The company was named the Lockheed Corporation in 1977. The first successful construction that was built in any number 141 aircraft was the Vega first built in 1927, best known for its several first and record-setting flights by, among others, Amelia Earhart, Wiley Post, and George Hubert Wilkins. In the 1930s, Lockheed spent $139,400 million to develop the Model 10 Electra, a small twin-engine transport. The company sold 40 in the first year of production. Amelia Earhart and her navigator, Fred Noonan, flew it in their failed attempt to circumnavigate the world in 1937. Subsequent designs, the Lockheed Model 12 Electra Jr. and the Lockheed Model 14 Super Electra expanded their market. <laughs> Pre-war production The Lockheed Model 14 formed the basis for the Hudson Bomber, which was supplied to both the British Royal Air Force and the United States military before and during World War II. Its primary role was submarine hunting. The Model 14 Super Electra were sold abroad, and more than 100 were licensed built in Japan for use by the Imperial Japanese Army. Topic. Production during World War II 
At the beginning of World War II, Lockheed, under the guidance of Clarence Kelly Johnson, who is considered one of the best-known American aircraft designers, answered a specification for an interceptor by submitting the P-38 Lightning fighter aircraft, a twin-engined, twin-boom design. The P-38 was the only American fighter aircraft in production throughout American involvement in the war, from Pearl Harbor to victory over Japan Day. It filled ground attack, air-to-air, -air, and even strategic bombing roles in all theaters of the war in which the United States operated. The P-38 was responsible for shooting down more Japanese aircraft than any other U.S. Army Air Forces type during the war. It is particularly famous for being the aircraft type that shot down Japanese Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto's airplane. The Lockheed Vega factory was located next to Burbank's Union Airport which it had purchased in 1940. During the war, the entire area was camouflaged to fool enemy aerial reconnaissance. The factory was hidden beneath a huge burlap tarpaulin painted to depict a peaceful semi-rural neighborhood, replete with rubber automobiles. Hundreds of fake trees, shrubs, buildings, and even fire hydrants were positioned to give a three-dimensional appearance. The trees and shrubs were created from chicken wire treated with an adhesive and covered with feathers to provide a leafy texture. Lockheed ranked 10th among United States corporations in the value of wartime production contracts. All told, Lockheed and its subsidiary Vega produced 19,278 aircraft during World War II, representing 6% of war production, including 2,600 Venturas, 2,750 Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress bombers built under license from Boeing, 2,900 Hudson bombers, and 9,000 Lightnings. Post-war production During World War II, Lockheed, in cooperation with Transworld Airlines TWA, had developed the L049 Constellation, a radical new airliner capable of flying 43 passengers between New York and London at a speed of 300 miles per hour in 13 hours. Once the Constellation nicknamed Connie, went into production, the military received the first production models. After the war, the airlines received their original orders, giving Lockheed more than a year's head start over other aircraft manufacturers in what was easily foreseen as the post-war modernization of civilian air travel. The Constellation's performance set new standards which transformed the civilian transportation market. Its signature tri-tail was the result of many initial customers not having hangers tall enough for a conventional tail. Lockheed produced a larger transport, the double-decked R6V Constitution, which was intended to make the Constellation obsolete. However, the design proved underpowered. <laughs> Skunk Works In 1943, Lockheed began, in secrecy, development of a new jet fighter at its Burbank facility. This fighter, the Lockheed P-80 Shooting Star, became the first American jet fighter to score a kill. It also recorded the first jet-to-jet -jet aerial kill, downing a Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-15 in Korea, although by this time the F-80, as it was redesignated in June 1948, was already considered obsolete. Starting with the P-80, Lockheed's secret development work was conducted by its Advanced Development Division, more commonly known as the Skunk Works. The name was taken from Al Cap's comic strip Leal Abner. This organization has become famous and spawned many successful Lockheed designs, including the U-2 late 1950s, SR-71 Blackbird 1962, and F-117 Nighthawk Stealth Fighter 1978. The Skunk Works often created high-quality designs in a short time and sometimes with limited resources. Topic. Projects during the Cold War In 1954, the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, a durable four-engine transport, flew for the first time. 
This type remains in production today. In 1956, Lockheed received a contract for the development of the Polaris submarine launched ballistic missile SLBM. It would be followed by the Poseidon and Trident nuclear missiles. Lockheed developed the F-104 Starfighter in the late 1950s, the world's first Mach 2 fighter jet. In the early 1960s, the company introduced the C-141 Starlifter four-engine jet transport. During the 1960s, Lockheed began development for two large aircraft, the C-5 Galaxy military transport and the L-1011 TriStar widebody civil airliner. Both projects encountered delays and cost overruns. The C-5 was built to vague initial requirements and suffered from structural weaknesses, which Lockheed was forced to correct at its own expense. The TriStar competed for the same market as the McDonnell Douglas DC-10. Delays in Rolls-Royce engine development caused the TriStar to fall behind the DC-10. The C-5 and L-1011 projects, the cancelled U.S. Army R-56 Cheyenne helicopter program, and embroiled shipbuilding contracts caused Lockheed to lose large sums of money during the 1970s. Drowning in debt, in 1971 Lockheed, then the largest U.S. defense contractor, asked the U.S. government for a loan guarantee, to avoid insolvency. The measure was hotly debated in the U.S. Senate. The chief antagonist was Senator William Proxmire D. Wiss, the nemesis of Lockheed and its chairman, Daniel J. Horton. Following a fierce debate, Vice President Spiro T. Agnew cast a tie-breaking vote in favor of the measure August 1971. Lockheed finished paying off the $1.4 billion loan in 1977, along with about $112.22 million in loan guarantee fees. Topic. Bribery scandals The Lockheed bribery scandals were a series of illegal bribes and contributions made by Lockheed officials from the late 1950s to the 1970s. In late 1975 and early 1976, a subcommittee of the U.S. Senate led by Senator Frank Church concluded that members of the Lockheed Board had paid members of friendly governments to guarantee contracts for military aircraft. In 1976, it was publicly revealed that Lockheed had paid $22 million in bribes to foreign officials in the process of negotiating the sale of aircraft including the F-104 Starfighter, the so-called Deal of the Century. The scandal caused considerable political controversy in West Germany, the Netherlands, Italy, and Japan. In the U.S., the scandal led to passage of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, and nearly led to the ailing corporation's downfall it was already struggling due to the poor sales of the L-1011 airliner. Horton resigned his post as chairman. <laughs> Attempted leveraged buyout In the late 1980s, leveraged buyout specialist Harold Simmons conducted a widely publicized but unsuccessful takeover attempt on the Lockheed Corporation, having gradually acquired almost 20% of its stock. Lockheed was attractive to Simmons because one of its primary investors was the California Public Employees Retirement System CalPERS, the pension fund of the state of California. At the time, the New York Times said, much of Mr. Simmons's interest in Lockheed is believed to stem from its pension plan, which is overfunded by more than $1.4 billion. Analysts said he might want to liquidate the plan and pay out the excess funds to shareholders, including himself. Citing the mismanagement by its chairman, Daniel M. Tellip, Simmons stated a wish to replace its board with a slate of his own choosing, since he was the largest investor. His board nominations included former Texas Senator John Tower, the one-time chairman of the Armed Services Committee, and Admiral Elmo Zumwalt, Jr., a former chief of naval operations. 
Simmons had first begun accumulating Lockheed stock in early 1989 when deep Pentagon cuts to the defense budget had driven down prices of military contractor stocks, and analysts had not believed he would attempt the takeover since he was also at the time pursuing control of Georgia Gulf. Topic. Timeline 1912 – The Alco Hydro Aeroplane Company established. 1916 – Company renamed Luffhead Aircraft Manufacturing Company. 1926 – Lockheed Aircraft Company formed. 1929 – Lockheed becomes a division of Detroit Aircraft. 1932 – Robert and Cortland Gross take control of company after the bankruptcy of Detroit Aircraft. Company renamed Lockheed Aircraft Corporation, reflecting the company's reorganization under a board of directors. 1943 – Lockheed Skunk Works founded in Burbank, California. 1954 – First flight of the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. 1954 – Maiden flight of the Lockheed U-2. 1961 – Grand Central Rocket Company acquired as Lockheed Propulsion Company. 1962 – First flight of the A-12 Blackbird. 1964 – First flight of the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. 1970 – First flight of the L-1011 Tristar. 1976 – The Lockheed Bribery Scandals. 1977 – Company renamed Lockheed Corporation, to reflect non-aviation activities of the company. 1978 – The company's Hollywood Burbank Airport is sold to its nearby cities and becomes Burbank Glendale Pasadena Airport later renamed Bob Hope Airport in 2003. 1981 – First flight of the F-117 Nighthawk. 1985 – Acquires Metier Management Systems. 1986 – Acquires Sanders Associates Electronics of Nashua, New Hampshire. 1991 – Lockheed, General Dynamics and Boeing begin development of the F-22 Raptor. 1992 – All aerospace-related activities end at the Burbank facility. 1993 – Acquires General Dynamics Fort Worth Aircraft Division, builder of the F-16 Fighting Falcon 1995 – Lockheed Corporation merges with Martin Marietta to form Lockheed Martin. Topic. Divisions Lockheed's operations were divided between several groups and divisions, many of which continue to operate within Lockheed. Topic. Aeronautical Systems Group Lockheed California Company CALAC, Burbank, California Lockheed Georgia Company GELAC, Marietta, Georgia Lockheed Advanced Aeronautics Company, Saugus, California. Lockheed Aircraft Service Company, LAS, Ontario, California. Lockheed Air Terminal, Inc., LAT, Burbank, California, now Bob Hope Airport and owned by the Burbank Glendale Pasadena Airport Authority. Topic Missiles, Space, and Electronics Systems Group Lockheed Missiles and Space Company, Inc., Sunnyvale, California. Lockheed Propulsion Company, Redlands, California. Lockheed Space Operations Company, Titusville, Florida. Lockheed Engineering and Management Services Company, Inc., Houston, Texas. Lockheed Electronics Company, Inc., Plainfield, New Jersey. Topic. Marine Systems Group Lockheed Shipbuilding Company, Seattle, Washington Lockport Marine Company, Portland, Oregon Advanced Marine Systems, Santa Clara, California Topic. Information Systems Group 
Datacom Systems Corporation, Teaneck, New Jersey. CADAM Inc., Burbank, California. Lockheed Data Plan, Inc., Los Gatos, California. Dialog Information Services, Inc., Palo Alto, California. Metier Management Systems, London, England. Integrated Systems and Solutions, Gaithersburg, Maryland. Topic. Product list A partial listing of aircraft and other vehicles produced by Lockheed Topic. Airliners and civil transports Lockheed Vega Lockheed Model 10 Electra Lockheed Model 12 Electra Jr. Lockheed Model 14 Super Electra Lockheed Model 18 Lodestar Lockheed Constellation, famous airliner Lockheed L049 Constellation, first model of the Lockheed Constellation Lockheed L649 Constellation, improved Lockheed Constellation Lockheed L749 Constellation, further improved Lockheed Constellation Lockheed L1049 Super Constellation, largest produced model of the Lockheed Constellation Lockheed L1649 Starliner, last model of the Lockheed Constellation Lockheed Saturn Lockheed L188 Electra Lockheed Jetstar, business jet L1011 Tristar, widebody airliner Adaku Type 500 monorail for Makogroka UN monorail as Nihon Lockheed monorail, with Kawasaki Heavy Industries, in service from 1966 to 2001. Hameji monorail type 102 hundredths as Nihon Lockheed monorail, with Kawasaki Heavy Industries, in service from 1966 to 1974. Topic. Military transports Lockheed C-69, Lockheed C-121 Constellation, military transport versions of the Constellation YC-121F Constellation, experimental turboprop version Lockheed R-6V Constitution, large transport aircraft Lockheed C-130 Hercules, medium combat transport AC-130 gunship other variants Lockheed C-141 Starlifter, long-range jet transport Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, heavy transport Flatbed, military transport project, cancelled Fighters. Lockheed P-38 Lightning, twin-engine propeller fighter Lockheed P-80 Shooting Star, the United States Air Force's first operational jet fighter Lockheed T-33 Shooting Star, trainer jet Lockheed F-94 Starfire, all-weather fighter Lockheed F-104 Starfighter, interceptor and later a multi-mission fighter, the missile with a man in it Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, stealth fighter attack aircraft General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon, multirole fighter originally General Dynamics Lockheed YF-22, air superiority stealth fighter Topic. Patrol and reconnaissance Lockheed Hudson, Maritime Patrol, Bomber PV-1 Ventura and PV-2 Harpoon, Maritime Patrol, Bomber P-01 with WV-1 Constellation, AWACS version of the Constellation EC-121, WV-2 Warning Star, AWACS version of the Super Constellation Lockheed P-2 Neptune, Maritime Patrol Lockheed P-3 Orion, ASW Patrol Lockheed U-2, TR-1, Reconnaissance 
Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, Reconnaissance A-12 M-21 YF-12 Lockheed S-3 Viking, Patrol, Attack Y-03A Quiet Star Topic. Helicopters Lockheed CL-475, Rigid Rotor Helicopter XH-51A, B, Lockheed CL-595, Model 286, Compound Helicopter Testbed Lockheed R-56 Cheyenne, Prototype Attack Compound Helicopter Topic. Missiles UGM-27 Polaris UGM-73 Poseidon UGM-89 Perseus Trident UGM-96 Trident I UGM-133 Trident II Hi Virgo Topic. Space technology Lockheed X-7 Lockheed X-17 Lockheed L-301 aka X-24C Lockheed Star Clipper Corona Room 81 Agena Agena Target Vehicle Apollo Launch Escape System Hubble Space Telescope Topic. Sea vessels Sea shadow Topic. See also Vega Aircraft Corporation Lloyd Stearman